Okay, so today we're really diving into the thick of it. Um, U.S.-Iran relations. Yeah. And this article, it's... Uh, Bevy stuff. Yeah. Biden warning Iran about threats against former U.S. officials. I mean, even Trump's name is in there. It's giving me chills. Get a big deal, for yeah, sure. Uh, Biden administration basically saying an assassination attempt, that's an act of war. That's That's not something you hear every day. No, not at all. I mean, usually that kind of, you know, protection against threats from other countries, that's for presidents, you know, people in office, not right. yeah. not so much former presidents. So, yeah, it's unusual. Could be a real turning point in how the U.S. handles these kinds of situations going forward. And it's not just Trump they're worried about, right? Yeah. I mean, the article mentions John Bolton, Mike Pompeo, all these big names from the Trump years, mm. specifically when it comes to Iran. Exactly. And that's the key here, I think. These threats aimed at people who basically shaped Trump's Iran policy, it shows just how deep this, this whole bad blood runs, you know. <laughs> U.S.-Iran relations, it's not exactly breaking news that it's tense, but no. This takes it to another level. So we're talking about those tensions, but this isn't really a new thing, right? I mean, mm -hmm. going way back, Salman Rushdie, the fatwa against him. Right, right. Totally different situation in a lot of ways. But yeah, it shows that this goes back decades. Deeply rooted, yeah. Definitely. A lot of history there. So back to Biden's warning, though, saying the U.S. would consider this an act of war. What does that even mean? Like, practically speaking, that feels like... A phrase from a history textbook. Yeah. It's not something you throw around lightly, that's for sure, <laughs> historically. Sure, act of war, usually that meant, okay, somebody's about to invade somebody, military action. Right. But these days, it's a lot more complicated. Could mean sanctions, mm -hmm. could be more about diplomacy, shutting Iran out on the world stage, or even, I mean, cyber attacks are a whole other thing now. So basically, a whole arsenal of options, but each one. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah comes with its own risks. Exactly. And that's what makes this so tense, so unpredictable. It's mm -hmm. like every move could escalate things further. You know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. So where do we go from here? What should we be looking out for as this unfolds? Well, the biggest thing is how Iran responds. Are they just talking tough or will they actually do something? Right. And on the U.S. side, it's easy to talk tough, but what action are they actually willing to take? It's a situation that could easily spiral. I mean, this could affect the entire Middle East and even further. It's it's intertwined with global politics, alliances, everything. It's scary how one news article can open up these huge, complicated issues. Like, wow, geopolitics, man. It really shows you how interconnected everything is, you know? You can't separate this stuff out anymore. It makes you think, if this is the new normal threats against former presidents, what does that mean for the U.S. going forward? How they deal with, well, with enemies? Big questions. And I don't think we're going to have the answers anytime soon. It's definitely something to keep thinking about, that's for sure. Yeah, lots to unpack there.